what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the morning vlog thank you very much for 31k subscribers the channel keeps growing and growing and growing i wonder why shout outs to nathan heaver man nathan heaver what's up all the way down in new zealand and the reason why i'm giving you the shout out is to thank you very much for correcting me for actually thinking that man city played sheffield already for some reason i thought we played sheffield and beat sheffield already seriously but apparently just like the way liverpool haven't played Wolves as yet we haven't played sheffield united as yet so it means that we're going to be playing sheffield today liverpool play Wolves today and then both liverpool and city will play sheffield and Wolves again in january so thank you very much nathan heaver and for any one of you guys who ever corrected me in the comments thank you very much really really appreciate it premier league news west ham united has decided to part ways with manuel pellegrini kind of strange decision but oh, could understand why they're currently 17th on 19 points it's not the points tally that's like alarming it's the fact that they are 17th you know that's relegation stuff you're talking about there so i could understand why they decided to sack pellegrini so bye-bye pellegrini your old ways of thinking did not work Apparently, it didn't work. So, Pellegrini's out of West Ham. The fans have been calling for him to get sacked for a while. They lost 2-1 at home yesterday against Leicester City. A Leicester who changed nine men. So, come on, man. You're basically playing a second-string Leicester team and you can't pick up a W. So, I understand the reason why he got sacked. You know what I'm saying? Do you guys think Pellegrini deserved to get sacked? In retrospect, he did. He did deserve to get sacked. But the big question is, who is going to replace Manuel Pellegrini as West Ham boss? News articles are saying that it could well be David Moyes. Remember, Moyes managed West Ham after Slaven Bilic was sacked, I think. And then Moyes himself got sacked. And they hired Pellegrini. I think that's the way it went. Not 100% sure, but what I'm 100% sure about is that Moyes was managing West Ham a couple of seasons ago and he got sacked. Is he the right choice, guys? I, I don't know. They're saying he could be back with a vengeance, but uh, I don't know, man. Really don't know. Una Emery is also an option. I don't know if he'll go to West Ham. He should go to West Ham and prove a point. You know what I mean? He should go there and prove a point. But I don't know. It could be Marcelino, the former Valencia manager. Could be him. But guys, let me know who you think is the best fit for West Ham United in the comment section down below. Or maybe they would just hire Sam Allardyce. You never know. I'm surprised that no team went for Sam Allardyce this season. After sacking so many managers. So... Let's wait and see who West Ham announces as their new manager. I will be back with that story. In other news, let's go over to France. Leonardo Jardim has been sacked by Monaco for the second time. Crazy. I'm telling you, these, these football clubs are like ruthless. It's all about business. No time to get you know your sentiments involved. It's all about business. Jardim has been sacked. And it had already been um, announced that Robert Moreno, the former Spain international coach, who temporarily replaced, um, what's his name there? Enrique has been appointed as Monaco's new manager. So, Leonardo Jardim, did he deserve to get sacked? Monaco currently seventh in the league right now. 
10 points behind the second place team, Marseille. Did they deserve to get sacked, guys? I don't think so. I really don't think so. It has to be some falling out between the board and Leonardo Jardim. There's no other explanation. The article that I read was saying that how a poor string of results. But when I look back at the results, Monaco has picked up some good results in the last five to seven games. So it's kind of puzzling that he got sacked. Seventh, 28 points in Ligue 1. A couple wins, bam, 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 you're up to fifth, fourth. So it's kind of weird that they sacked him and hired Moreno. And guys, remember Leonardo Jardim's Monaco won league on a couple seasons ago. They ha they're one of the only teams to win the league on trophy this season, apart from PSG, because PSG has been dominating. So with all that done, still got sacked twice. Remember, guys, a Leonardo Jardim team with the likes of Sidebe, Tama Lemar, Benjamin Mendy. You have the likes of Bernardo Silva, Kylian Mbappe, Radamel Falcao, Daniel Subasic, and lots more. Fabinho, can't forget him. Got to the semi-final of the UEFA Champions League a few seasons ago and dismissed Manchester City in the quarter-final. So, Monaco has themselves to blame. I don't know if they think they'll be still like competing with the top dogs after selling every single body basically. Timuyu Bakayoko, don't forget, don't forget Bakayoko. You sold everybody. Like what else do you expect? You sold everybody and come on. No wonder you're in crisis now. They hired Thierry Henry, that was a disaster. They brought back Jardim, fired him and now they go with Robert Moreno, Roberto Moreno. So. All the best to Monaco for the rest of the season. Guys, let me know your thoughts on this Monaco situation in the comment section down below. If you do care. Let us move on to the European Golden Shoe. Who's winning the race right now in the top goal scoring charts right now in Europe. All across Europe. The top five. Carly on top. Robert Lewandowski of Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich, I think they're like third. Lewandowski has 19 goals this season. Guys, I think Lewandowski is a serious contender for Ballon d'Or 2020. To be honest, it would be nice to see someone else win it though. Seriously. Like, he has 19 goals and I hope he score 20 more for the remainder of the season and win the Ballon d'Or or something because I'm really fed up with the Messi and Ronaldo and all these other Ballon d'Or, seriously. So, way to go, Lewandowski. Second, Timo Ferner currently has 18 goals. 18 goals, guys. Amazing, amazing. The most goals he has scored in a season, well, a season is, I don't know if this, I, I don't think this is like, I think this is like total tally is actually 21 so he has 18 now he's gonna break that he's gonna break that um goal scoring tally he's gonna break it i think he picked that up a few seasons ago 2016 17 so timo verna rb leipzig on top right now in the bundesliga so i would love to see them win the bundesliga that'll be for a great great story Either them or Gladbach, it will, it, will be, it, will, it will make for a nice story. Dethroned Bayern Munich. Please, it's time. So I want Lewandowski to win a like a Ballon d'Or, and I want one of these other German teams to win the damn Bundesliga. Like, I'm really fed up with Bayern Munich winning the thing. Then, Chiro Immobile, third, 17 goals for Lazio, man. He's on fire this season. No wonder Lazio are currently third in the Serie A. It'll be nice if they can stay there and get Champions League football. Lazio has not been in the Champions League for quite some time. For quite some time. So, all the best there. It's good to see Chiro Immobile in form again. It was nice to see him in another league though. He's been playing in the Serie A for a while. 
he did went to Dortmund. I could remember seeing him at Dortmund and maybe another club, but I, I, I haven't seen him in the Premier League. But it'll be nice to see him venture out again. Or maybe he won't. Maybe he'll just stay at Lazio. Maybe he will. So, Jamie Vardy, fourth on the list. 17 goals for Leicester City. They're currently second in the Premier League. 10 points behind league leaders Liverpool, who are on 52 points. So, way to go, Jamie Vardy. Seems like you're going to run away with the Premier League Golden Shoe Award this season. But good luck winning it in Europe because Lewandowski and Werner and Immobile are on fire. And to round off the top five, Lionel Messi, of course, he has 13 goals. He plays for Barcelona, who are currently top of La Liga. So that's it for European Golden Shoe update. Transfers, guys. A little bit about transfers. Carlos Alenia. I think that's his name. Alenia has moved from Barcelona to Real Betis on loan for the remainder of the season. So all the best to Alenia. Probably surplus to requirements over there. Not getting enough game time. Sent out to Betis to develop further. So all the best to the young man. Very, very talented. All the best at Betis. Vidal to Inter. It's said that Vidal has an agreement on the table at Inter Milan. 5 million euros across two years. But only thing in the way now is whether Barcelona wants to sell him or not. And the fee that Barcelona will demand for the Chilean international. It shouldn't be too expensive. He's up there in age. But a player like Vidal, it doesn't really matter what age he is. He will still, you know, command a, a hefty fee. So let's see how that one plays out. Inter has been linked to a lot of, you know, veteran midfielders. The likes of Rakitic and Modric and Vidal. Let's see who they get. Let's see who they get. Remember, guys, I reported that Zlatan Ibrahimovic moved to AC Milan, 38 years old on a six month deal with an option to sign so for those of you guys who missed that yeah Slatten is now an AC Milan player again so let me know if you guys think that Arturo Vidal will move to Inter Milan Arsenal Arsenal some Arsenal transfer news they demand 40 million pounds for Granit Xhaka is Granit Xhaka worth 40 million pounds I don't think so, but that's the fee they want for him. They paid, I think, 40 million for him, so they basically want to make back their money. Granit Xhaka, overrated if you ask me. Has a temper. He's a liability if you ask me. Does not contribute enough if you ask me. So, Arsenal won't be missing a player like, that, like him. They will take the money and bring in someone better. They're looking at young... RB Leipzig defender Diot Upamecano highly rated defender linked to a lot of big clubs Mikel Arteta wants to sign him I don't think Leipzig are going to let go these guys in January because they're currently you know trying to win the Bundesliga there and it'll be kind of weird to weaken your squad just for a buck that you could make during the summer or more so I think he'll be let go in the summer if other teams want him. So yeah, Arsenal linked to Upamecano. They do need to sign some center backs, man. Their defense is total garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage defense. Garbage defense. So, in other news, Arsenal too. Mikel Arteta is interested in signing young 24 year old. I think he's 24 years old right now. Monaco winger Midfielder Thomas Lemar, formerly of Monaco, once student of Leonardo Jardim. Very talented player, but his career hasn't really kicked off or kicked on at Atletico Madrid, where this season he has yet to score any goals. So, uh, let's see. Thomas Lemar used to be linked to Arsenal at one time, deal didn't happen. And he went to Atletico Madrid. So maybe he was meant to go to Arsenal all along. Because 
It's not working out in Spain, bro. It is not working out. Maybe you need to make the move. Man City is linked to Dutch and PSV won the kid, Mohamed Iha Taren. We would do good with a Mohamed in our team. He's 17 years old and Calcio Mercata is saying that Pep Guardiola wants him to be the long-term replacement for David Silva. Come on, that's garbage. Phil Foden is touted to be the long-term replacement for David Silva. So this article, I don't believe at all. I really don't believe. Jack Grealish wants to play at Old Trafford. Is that a hint that he want to be a Manchester United player? Yes, it is. And if Aston Villa goes down, they're not playing too well. Currently in the relegation zone, I'm afraid Grealish will play for United. William and Pedro could all move from Chelsea as well. So, Barcelona said to be likely destination for William. As for Pedro, he could end up in the MLS or for another Premier League team. Or he actually wants to play for Barcelona again. But I doubt Barcelona will go in for a player like Pedro. He's old. He's old. So, guys, um... That's it for today. That's it for the, today's discussion. Really appreciate you watching this video. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Gotta catch a bus right now. Smash the thumbs up button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And until later, a lot of big games today. Arsenal, Chelsea, City, Sheffield, Liverpool. They play Wolves. A lot of videos coming your way today, guys. So look out for them. Thanks again. And if I made any mistakes, correct me down below. For me, boy, I'm gonna rich. Like to say, thanks for watching. Peace out. Rich Squad.